Hi, and welcome to Three Things in Three Minutes. I'm Nursey. Today, we are looking at Azul, Queen's Garden. From Plan B Games, it plays two to four players and plays in 45 to 60 minutes. What it's about, Azul Queen's Garden is the fourth game in the Azul Tile Laying Games, this time laying out decorations in a highly abstracted garden. So much like the original, each round players will draft increasing numbers of colorful tiles with symbols and garden expansions that will give you more spaces to lay out your tiles. So in drafting, players will have to uh, take all of the tiles that have the same color or the same symbol and put them into their storage. Or they can place the tiles from their storage onto their board paying the cost for each with other pieces showing the same color or symbol. At the end of each round, certain tile colors and symbols will score, and at the end of four rounds, the players will score uh, completed groups of tiles with either matching shapes or colors without any duplicates. So what I like, now if you like Azul and wanted a greater challenge, this is the version for you. The tile laying restrictions are much more advanced here, so when you place a tile next to another one, it has to match its color or symbol, but it cannot create a group that already has another of the same tile and cannot be paid for with a matching tile, so it's going to put your drafting and spatial reasoning to the test. And, uh, like the previous versions of Azul games, it has high quality plastic tiles that feel very satisfying to handle and place out and look great on the board. And the fact that the number of icons on the symbol is also the cost makes it very easy to track. And while the drafting here is much faster than in previous games, it's in part because you start off with limited options, but also because unlike previous games, you can pass early, so you're no longer forced into taking tiles that you don't want and being penalized for them. Now points to consider, where this game is much more advanced, uh, it can get very complicated. So keeping track of your connected groups and ensuring you don't have any duplicates gets harder as the game progresses, especially since some of the symbols and even the colors are not that easy to distinguish at a quick glance. And while you can always uh, pass for a round instead of drafting, any tiles that you did draft and ended up not using will cost you negative points, either when you discard them or at the end of the game. And if they uh, were high value tiles, the penalty is steep, which makes the game punishing. And there are only three tiles of each of the color and symbol combinations. So if you're not keeping track, you may be hoping for a winning tile that will never come up. And the game has two different sides to the scoring board, but the variation in how they score is pretty minor and probably not worth the effort of disassembling the round tracking wheel every game. So in summary, it takes a spatial tile laying puzzle of Azul and makes it a much more advanced and in some ways more complicated game. It retains a visual appeal and the excellent components of the original series that they can be hard to track when tracking is so important in this game. And the game introduces a way for you to back out of an unwanted draft, but unwanted tiles you do draft can penalize you heavily. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.